assalamu alaikum everyone in this video we are going to learn graphing standard form of quadratic equation so basically there are two different ways to graph the standard form of a quadratic equation the first one is by using a table of values and the second one is by using properties we have given a quadratic equation in standard form that is y equals to x square minus 6x i will graph out this standard form by using the two methods but in this video we are going to learn the first method of graphing that is by using a table of values and my next video will be on the second method of graphing the standard form of a quadratic equation let's begin with the first method okay the first method of graphing the standard form of a quadratic equation is by using a table of values in table of values we have to draw a table x and y Okay, so we need to fix some x values. I would like to fix x equals to negative one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and find out the corresponding y values. Now, how do we solve the y values? So we need to substitute the x values one by one into the standard form of a quadratic equation and solving for y. Right. Let's start with the first x value. The x value is negative one, so we have y equals to negative one whole square, negative six times negative one. So we have y equals to minus one square is one, and minus six times minus one would be plus six. So y would be equals to seven. Okay. The next x value is zero. So we have y equals to zero square, negative six times zero. So we have y equals to zero subtract zero. So y value is zero. Okay. Now put x equals to one. So we have y equals to one whole square, negative six times one. So y equals to one subtract six. So y equals to negative five. Right now, the next x value is two. Let's substitute x equals to two. So y equals to two square negative six times two. So y equals to four subtract twelve. So y equals to negative eight. Now put x equals to three and solve for y. So y would be equals to three square negative six times three. So y is equals to three square is nine and six times three is eighteen, and nine subtract eighteen is negative nine. Okay, when x is four, so y is equals to four square negative six times four. So y would be equals to four square is sixteen. Negative six uh, six times four is twenty four. And we have y equals to sixteen subtract twenty four is equals to negative eight. Okay, when x is five, so y would be equals to five square negative six times five. So y is equals to twenty five subtract thirty. So y would be equals to negative five. Okay, now let's put x equals to six and solve for y. So we have y equals to six square negative six times six. So y would be equals to thirty six subtract thirty six. So y would be equals to zero. Okay, let's substitute the last x value that is seven. So y would be equals to seven square. Subtract six times seven, so seven square is forty-nine, and six times seven is forty-two, 
So the y value is equals to 7. Okay. Now we have done with the table of values. Let's plot all these points one by one onto the graph and let's find out the graph of a standard form. Okay. Now let's plot the points onto the graph one by one. The first point is x is negative 1 and the y value is 7. Sorry. Yes. Okay, x is negative 1 and the y value is 7. x is negative 1 over here and the y value is 7. So we have the point this. x is 0 and the y is 0. So this point. x is 1 and the y is negative 5. x is 1 and the y is negative 5 downward. x is 2 the y is negative 8. x is 2 and the y is neg a negative 8 over here x is 3 and the y is negative 9. x is 3 and the y is negative 9. x is 4 and the y is negative 8. When x is 4 the y is negative 8. x value is 5 and the y value is negative 5 over here. x is 6 and the y is 0. Right? x is 7 and the y is also 7. So we have done plotting the points. Let's connect all the points to get the curve. Okay, so we have done connecting all the points. So this is a graph of a given standard form of a quadratic equation. I hope you understand how to find the graph of a standard form of a quadratic equation by using the first method that is a table of values. So in my next video I will explain you how to graph the standard form of a quadratic equation by using properties. If you want to watch more and get updated then please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.